Good morning once again. My name is Priva Elibaz and joining me in studio to take a look at the hit or miss this Friday is none other than Apollo Sarah. Good morning. Good morning, Trevor. How are you? I'm all right. Well, today we are going to be looking at uh, the very best looks from the Katua week, that is fall or winter 2022. And uh, twice a year, basically, the major big wigs of the fashion world make their way to Paris for the Katua week for jam-packed days of high fashion. For the initiated, of course, the schedule is a mix of um, industry heavy hitters like Chanel and Dior, along with, you know, exciting names like Balenciaga making their... I beg your pardon, Balenciaga, making their mark on this um, historical mode of fashion. Well, mm -hmm. uh, when you when you look at when you take a look at some of the of the of the looks that made the cut yesterday, there are so many designers that did come on board. Like I did mention earlier on, there is Dior, there is Balenciaga, there is. Um, there is, there is so much, and uh, some of the models that actually dressed the uh, runway included uh, big names like Kim Kardashian. Her outfit was very controversial, but hey, they're trying to you know, get it together. So I don't know. What do you think? Um, I, sh I think it was okay. You think her outfit was okay? You think Kimball <laughs> is always you know, there? Because some of the reactions on social media are that uh, she does some of these things because she's always looking for the attention. Yes. She wants to stay relevant. Yes, 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 she does. I... I I'm sorry, but the, the, she's she doesn't do she doesn't do anything for me as a person. Mm -hmm. she, she really doesn't. doesn't. As an icon, as a fashion person, she really doesn't do anything for me. I'm I'm sorry. Maybe that sounds harsh. Maybe that sounds harsh, but um, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't I don't care for her as a person. Absolutely. Well, let's take a dive into some of the looks. And the first picture is actually from a designer called Jean Paul. Jean Paul Gaultier. Gaultier, yes, Jean Paul. Are you putting in the accent for yes. the for the French? Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, well, as we see that uh, this uh, look has a little bit of, you know, some diversity. Uh, it has some less. It can be, it has some bare. Um, how would you, how would you describe that? The upper, the upper body. Sheer? Yeah, yeah some sheer, exactly. With the That's sweetheart neckline. Absolutely, yes. I, I think I like this look. What do you think? I don't like it. What? I'm not a fan of it. Is it the boots? It's not the boots. I think uh, too much was going on with this look. I don't like how it was put together uh, you don't at all i do not oh my god well i think i would, I would give her like um an eight out of ten i feel like there's a lot of effort going in here the hair is put back uh and the feet it fits a plus size woman like her very vicious and all that and yeah it's, it's putting it's giving me it's giving me good enough no i, I it fits well mm -hmm. on her body, but I just think this is not a memorable look for me. Okay. Well, our next picture... It's just me. Our next picture, picture comes in from uh, Bella Hadid, and she's actually wearing Balenciaga. It's just a green... Um, yeah, a green dress. What do you have to say? It's definitely couture. It's definitely very chic. It's very beautiful. It's editorial. Mm -hmm. I, but uh, to wear this to an event, you're just going to look bloated. So you think some of the some of these uh, fashion <laughs> trends that they force down our necks are not? We're not people are not going to wear them minus the celebrities. Many of these couture looks are beautifully editorial. Like they look nice, beautifully photographed. It's like art to just look at them. Mm -hmm. But to wear them, I think it it looks very uncomfortable. I think it looks uh, very. Um, and big to, uh, too big for her yeah well, i saw her walking in this dress she looked very uncomfortable uncomfortable well 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 for I, me when it comes to fashion i like things that are practical and easy to wear you know something that is you know easy and you don't have to you know mind your dress the whole event like it takes away from you enjoying the event that you're going to if you're going to just be minding your dress you know trying to sit properly trying to stand properly so that you can be photographed well in it but it's a beautiful piece beautiful to look at yeah same also i think it's a beautiful piece um i'm not sure how i feel about this because i don't think i would be able to buy it and actually wear it not mm -hmm. that it's expensive of course it is expensive but i don't think i'd be able to uh wear something like this yes and she's wearing Balenciaga. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Expensive, but no. Well, the next uh, picture comes in from um, another musician. She's very famous, and she's wearing uh, that. I would call that yellow and matching it with a lot of black. This is so Balenciaga. Yes, still it's Balenciaga as well. Yes, I think this is fun and playful. Actually, this is Dua Lipa. This is Dua Lipa. Yes. yes. It looks fun and playful. It looks uh, comfortable. I mean, she doesn't have to worry about. Um, 
I think it's a practical dress to wear. <laughs> Very Honestly, <laughs> it's a practical dress to wear. It looks comfortable. It looks playful. Um, she looks, you know, warm. Even if it was a chilly night, you know, she would still be warm. I, I like this. It's well put together. That reminds me uh, way back of what we used to do back in high school. Around, around my senior fall. Yeah. These are the kind of dresses we wore. Minus, of course, that, uh, that what, what would you call that? The train that is yeah. uh, attached to the side of her hip, but this was basically it: short dresses and stockings this side. You know what I'm looking at when I when I look at this picture? It's like she's channeling Sage. You know, Sage. Yes, the, the Sage, artist, a musician. Yes. Yeah. yes, a musician, and also Madonna, like back in the night, early nineties. When she was still an icon. Oh, she's still when, an icon. When when she would always slick her hair back and you know just hold you know the ponytail tight at the back yes and that is what i'm getting from this picture but i like this, this kind of see your balenciaga how mm -hmm. would you rate it i think this is a seven though but it's nice this is way above average mm -hmm. look at me talking like i can afford this gown <laughs> but it is what it is this is how i feel about it but it's a beautiful dress this is practical this is something that i would wear mm -hmm. yes well our next picture comes in from two different models who appear to be um be making pregnant women and uh, I don't know who is going to wear this it's art it is art but um, we also need to be practical with what we are putting on the runways because I don't know I don't think any anyone who has been pregnant would fancy wearing something like this must be super uncomfortable this is again Jean Paul Gloutier and I love it's it's artistic again it's this is beautiful to look at beautiful to look at but not practical for a pregnant an actual pregnant person to wear but I, then again i said a lot of these couture looks it's they're just beautifully they're beautiful editorial you know pieces mm -hmm. but i don't know about the practicality because you'll have to really go out of your way to actually you know commit to this look for the <laughs> for all of the hours you're at an event you understand I actually feel but like i think this is beautiful it's very artistic mm. it's um the the bold lady you know i think it's absolutely just it's it's beautiful it's well put form. together what yeah. do you say about the shoes again they're very beautiful <laughs> shoes they're beautiful just, to look at just to look at well mm -hmm. i actually feel like they're getting some of um sort of inspiration from the maasai in kenya when yes. you take a look at their the Chokers, neck has, yeah, mm -hmm. the necklace or something like that. And also how it uh, connects to the nose. Yes. I don't know if this is uh, India, I don't know if this is Versailles. I think, it's, I think they took all those cultures and put all that them. together, to fuse that to you know, come up with this. I think it's beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. The artistic vision, I applaud this. This is yes. beautiful. Well, I think you can just break down this piece, mm. you know, like for instance, the skirt part, it looks very soft. Mm -hmm. It looks so soft, like you'd want this on your body. <laughs> the down a bit? Yeah, the down a bit. I think someone would, if you wanted to wear this, you'd like take pieces of it, but not wear it as a whole, especially if it is like a bodysuit armor for a pregnant person. This is a lot of work, but it's absolutely beautiful. Interesting. Well, the next picture comes in from, uh, Ale from a certain model, and uh, the designer is actually called Alexandra Valtia. Mm -hmm. Yes, what do you have to say about the blue? I like this. Well put together, I the shoes. Absol I absolutely like this. If you're trying to just, you know, show off, yeah? you, when you want to show up and show out, this is what you wear. It's the best look for you. I love this. I love this coat. It's absolutely beautiful. Well, for winter, for uh, the cold season, of course, we don't have winter in Uganda, but yeah, for a very, very cold season that almost starts near somewhere in September here in Uganda, I'll definitely wear this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll definitely wear something like this, absolutely. Or if you live in Kavali. Ever cold, 24-7. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. People in Kavali, this you may need to it. get <laughs> some of this for yourself. Yeah. Well, the next picture comes in from another model, and uh, she put so many colors together in that dress. I don't know if I would wear this. Mm -hmm. I love this dress. You do? I absolutely adore this dress. I would and wear it's this. Dior. Yes, it's. I would absolutely wear this dress. I would wear it to a brunch. I could wear it to a wedding. I could wear it to church, to a baptism. I love this dress. The simplicity of it just makes it even more beautiful. It's very, very chic. It looks very effortless, mm -hmm. and and I love that she has no jewelry, so it doesn't take away from her beauty. From the dress. It, the dress doesn't take away from from her beauty like literally she's wearing this dress the dress is not wearing her wearing her mm -hmm. well i think i like the upper the upper part just from the waist up 
I absolutely love that. I'm not too sure the waist down, going down. I don't think I would be able to wear such a dress. But hey, more power to people who would, who would definitely rock this. I love this. I love this dress. I absolutely <laughs> Okay, so are you giving dress. it a 10 out of 10? 10 out of... I'm giving it a 20 out of 10. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Well, Sarah, <laughs> I'm not giving it that much. Probably a 7 or a 6.5. Like it passed the mark. It's amazing. It's amazing. I love this dress. For me... I love something chic, something simple, like simplicity for me mm. just signifies the, you know, magnifies your beauty. I love this. She's, she nailed it. She nailed it all together. Mm -hmm. Well, the next picture comes in from Winnie Harlow. She's a model. Yes. Yes, I don't know what you have to say. Winnie always brings the hit, that's for sure. And she's wearing um, Iris Van Harpen. Mm -hmm. That's the designer. Yes. Now, this dash design actually noted that... Um, he, she had to bring, he, he had to bring uh, on Winnie Harlow to celebrate the label's 15th anniversary collection. All right. Yes. Um, again, it takes me back. Maybe I don't know anything about fashion, but this is a beautiful editorial piece, mm -hmm. again. But when it comes down to practicality of wearing it, I don't think it is as comfortable. Mm -hmm. And then again, it takes away from her. Oh, it has swallowed her up. The yes. look has, you know. The, the look has swallowed her up. It takes away from her. Minus Winnie being an excellent model, I also do not agree with this piece. I feel like she has done so many other beautiful um, shoots before this. Yeah. And I, I, don't, I, don't, I also don't like this. I don't like this. I love the person. I mm -hmm. just don't like the dress. You know what? But then again, the purpose of fashion shows is for the looks to be appreciated. It's mm -hmm. not about the model. Or how she wears it. It's about the garment, the, the piece. Garment, yes. So she's definitely being an amazing hanger for this coat. Mm -hmm, absolutely. You understand? Yes, 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 and yes. it's a beautiful coat mm -hmm. because that is what they're selling. Not the model, the garment. The garment. And this is absolutely, it's a beautiful piece. It's a beautiful piece. But again, when it comes down to wearing it, then you, the gown is going to take away from you as a person. But this is a beautiful but piece. But I love the I diversity. Love I, love I love the it. diversity that so far, you know, we've. Uh, we've uh, shared with the, the viewers that yeah. the, all the pictures are different. One picture is different from the next and it's different from the next. So it goes to show you mm -hmm. uh, the creativity process that goes into this whole thing, especially for the designers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, the next picture uh, comes in from a certain model. She's wearing yellow. Everything is yellow minus the shoes that are, is that bronze? Is that silver? What is that? Mm -hmm. Guillaume Batista Villa. Mm -hmm. And this is the, that's the designer of this outfit. I love this. This is pretty. It's very girly. It's very, mm -hmm. um, you know, spring, you know, very, you know, spring, very branchy. Like I would wear this to a brunch. Oh my God, Sarah, you love brunch. Everything you would wear to brunch. Everything. I'd wear this to a brunch. <laughs> Yes, I'd so wear this to a brunch well, or a family, you know, get together. Mm -hmm. You know, I like to show off and show out on everybody. I would definitely wear this. I love, 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 love. The cool this. auntie at the gatherings. Yeah, that is me. That is who I am. I love this dress. Well, I love this whole outfit. Like the cape, mm -hmm. the dress. Mm -hmm. It's giving me yellow red riding hood. It's, really? <laughs> Really? I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it so much. Well, I'll give this look maybe something like um, uh, 7 out of 10 because there's so much yellow going on. I maybe love it. It's been toned down. I love yellow as a color, but it's too much. When it's too much, it just confuses the, 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 entire, the entire look. It's, it's just confusion. It's a very city girl type of vibe. City girl. Yes, okay. I love it. Okay. Absolutely love this. Okay, well, the next picture comes in from also a certain model, and she's wearing... The yeah. same designer, yes. Yes, the same designer, yes. What do you have to say about this? I love this. I love this. I cannot even begin to explain how much I love it. Yes. In some of the, of the hit or miss that we covered back in the, the recent weeks, one of the musicians, Muni Long, was wearing something close or similar to this. At the with BET. The pink. Yes, at the BET. Mm -hmm. With the different layers of uh, pink and maybe purple somewhere in there, but she'd not pull it off as good as I this. I know, right? This is did. beautiful. It's girly. You could wear this to a prom. Mm -hmm. You could wear this to a wedding. You can even wear it to brunch. You wear this to my wedding, you're getting swiftly escorted <laughs> out of the premises. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. It's very girly. It's very, you know, soft and beautiful and very feminine. Mm -hmm. I would definitely give I this 10 it. out of 10. Mm -hmm. Well, Absolutely. our final picture comes in from none other than Kim Kardashian. This is Balenciaga. Balenciaga. 
I don't know, maybe, you know, she still, Kanye West still has an effect on her because I'm not understanding the mask. Someone actually said, that's a fire, a fireman or an electrician or something like that. <laughs> no, I love this look. Again, it's very beautiful. It's a very editorial picture, very beautiful to look at. But when you go to an event, I, I don't think the mask is necessary. But then again, mm -hmm. you see, this is the, the model is their purpose is to bring forth the creator or rather designers, you know, vision. Uh, vision. And uh, it's a beautiful dress, actually. I love this this feathery blue dress. Mm -hmm. I love it. I, I absolutely adore it. It's and it's different piece. from the Kim Kardashian that we're used to. Exactly. Always wearing, you know, skimpy stuff and all that. Well, those are the very best looks from the Couture Week Fall or Winter 2022 that are happening in France, Paris, as we speak. Well, my name is Priva Elibaz. I've been joined by Apollo Sarah, and this has been Hit or Miss. Coming up is Twitter Jabs 2. This is Sunrise at Sea. Don't blink. <laughs>